Okay, so we're here in Blender 2.78, and I'm just going to press A and delete everything that's here. And wait a minute, I need to check and see, do I have screencasts? Alright, I do have my screencast keys. The last time I did this, uh, my screencast keys weren't here. Alrighty, dope. Alright, so um, what we need to do is bring in our Second Life model. And it's just like we do before. Uh, so just go to File, Import, and you want to select, uh, what is the button? Where's the button? Second Life Skeleton. Oh, no, 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 no. Not Second Life Skeleton. Shape as Avastar. Then you want to navigate to your project folder, which is Lale. And we're going to select the XML that we exported earlier. And it should bring your monster in just as you had exported it. So let's wait for it. Actually, I kind of skipped this apart. And I'm going to press A and delete this and then show you what I messed up on. What we need to do is go back to import and shape as Avastar. And we're going to check, make sure this is checked. Where it says target rig, you want to make sure that it says extended. This will bring you all the fit mesh bones, the classic one, as well as the bento bones. So this is the one that you want to have checked. And you also want to check the use quads. And once you do that, you can press the XML and then bring that in. Sorry about that step. There we go. And now our avatar is brought into here. And you can see that it has the uh, bento bones and stuff all here. And if we want to get a better look at it, we can just press the, let's see, avatar, 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 rig display, and press x ray. And you're able to see all those bones. I'll tell you right now, this creeps me out. I hate when stuff is clustered together. Don't know why they did that, weirdos. Um, also, I want to change it from stick to octahedral because octahedral is for champs. Sticks are for chumps. And um, we can start working on our body. So now that we have our body in here, we're going to start by converting it to a workable space. Uh, by default, Avastar will stop you if you try to work on the model while it's still a Avastar because there's a difference between an Avastar rig and a uh, non Avastar one. So, anyway, um, this is what happens. If you click on your body and you do any kind of modification to it, like press tab and go into edit mode, you'll get this error that says, Oh, I told it to stop telling me that because I knew what to do. <laughs> you'll, there we go. There it is. It is. There you go. Avastar object of like cannot be edited. Please use freeze tool and all that stuff. Basically, it's telling you don't work on this because if you work on it, you risk it exploding. In previous versions of Avastar, if you were to um, cut or work on this while it was still in Avastar mode, um, the whole mesh would just explode into this sea of pointy triangles and it was very scary and then you would delete that and then somewhere under there was the part of the body that you had cut off so to fix that they give you this warning and tell you how to stop it so I'm going to show you how it works so you're going to hit OK and say alright I'm going to do that we're going to click on the body and then we're going to go to the Avastar tab and we're going to scroll down to where it says tools and open that panel up now we're just going to scroll down until you see this button that says free select it and you're going to select it and wait for it to do its job. Then you're going to click on the lower part of your body and then do the same thing. And then even up here on my head you're going to do the same thing up there. Wait for it. Alright. Now they're gone from being now the body is no longer an avastar mesh but now a custom mesh so when we go into edit mode and we do the thingamabob you see we don't get that error anymore because it's like all right this is no longer an avastar rig it's a, um, a custom mesh all right so now we have our custom mesh um, we're going to need to apply our textures to it so I want you to take your mouse and come over here to the top part of the screen and you're going to see that your cursor changes from a mouse arrow thing to like a little plus. When I turn into a plus you're going to right click and then, oh, left click and drag it over and then you'll have a new window. In this new window we're going to go down here to where this little box is at. It's right next to the view button and you're going to change it from 3D view, which is what it is currently, to UV image editor. 
and you'll get this little gray box with a grid. So this is our UV thingies. So what we're going to do now is click on a random part of our body. Um, I'm going to start with the head. We're going to go to the material tab and we're going to add a new material and we're just going to put new and we're going to name this one head. You don't have to name it head. You could just leave it as material whatever. It just makes it easier to find out what it is. So once you have the head material uh, created, you're going to press tab and go into edit mode. Then you're going to press assign. Make sure that the head is selected and it's all highlighted like this. So you can just press A until it's all glowing yellow. And then you press assign. So now the head is assigned to the head material. And we're going to do the same thing for the torso, uh, the upper body. We're going to press tab and go on to edit mode. Then plus, press the plus button. Create a new material. Double click on the name. And we're going to name this upper. And assign. And you see we now have our upper body. And then we're going to do the same with our lower body. Down here. Press tab press A, create new, new again, and then we're going to name this lower. Trust me that makes it a whole lot easier and then make sure you hit assign. You can do it a few more times just to be sure. <laughs> so now you have um, each body part assigned to a new uh, material. So what do we do next? Next step in the process of this is we're going to need to not have these bones on the same layer. I don't like having bones and meshes on the same layer because it always gets crazy when you want to select one or the other. So let's just click on the bones for now and then we're going to press M. Making sure you're in object mode. Press M and then set it to another layer. Now our workspace looks clear and if we have to export we can just click on the first layer, press A and select everything rather than have them all um, both on the same layer and then carefully trying to select the material around it and they accidentally click a bone. I hate that. So just to avoid that, we always put our bones on a separate layer. Alright, so now we have our workspace here. We're going to go to File and Save As and create our um, blend file for what we're working on. This will also make everything else that we export go right into our project folder instead of it going to like some random, I think maybe documents by default. So I'm going to go to my project folder and I'm just going to hit save. Alright, so now we have a starting point, to, uh, a restore point in case something messes up. Alright, now that we have all that done, the next step in this process is to add our textures to it. And this is we have materials, we can now do that. So let's click on our body. All right, and we're going to press tab and go into edit mode and we're going to go to open in the UV menu and you're just going to select the textures that we exported earlier. Now you may be wondering, I have the texture here, why is it not showing up? That's because we have to check another box to make sure that that's happening. So I want you to turn your attention over here to the toolbar and scroll down until you see shading. When you see shading, you just press texture solid and you see your textures come up. So now you can see what you're working on. So I'm going to click my lower body, and I'm going to do the same thing. Lower. And then we do the same thing for our head. And now we have it. And if you want, you can hit save and make sure that... There you go. Now another thing that I want to do is I want to get rid of my eyelashes because nobody uses their default second life eyelashes. So we're going to get rid of that. So now we have our body. It's textured. It's ready. And we can start doing our heavy work. Um, so I guess I should pause it right here and then go to the next video. So see you in the next video.